Uh, this is where the show got really, really interesting. So check this out. Steve Macklin was pounding on Scott Demore's door, and he threw kind of like a cup, and it smacked up against a locker, and Tommy Dreamer was in the background talking to somebody. And then he came over to Macklin and asked him what his problem was. And then it doesn't say this even – I don't think – and Nason didn't actually catch this in the recap, but um, our buddy Lucha Doncic screen capped it. I immediately saw it. A guy comes out of the locker room, comes through a door, and he sees Alicia Edwards there, and he starts to talk to her. And she goes, hey, you're on camera. And he looks up at the camera, walks back in. It was John Morrison. John Morrison made his long – Johnny Impact, the former Impact champion, made his long-awaited return by accident in a backstage cameo where he appears on camera and then immediately gets out of the, the, the shot. And instead of reshooting it, they just left it in. I think Impact. Because that's – that's what impact does. But I think in this case, they're like, oh, fuck it. That's hilarious. We're going to keep it in. It's it. one, one take Jake's here over an impact. <laughs> yeah. We don't take, we got time. We don't got time for take two. Got to keep the train moving. Of course, this was W. If this was uh triple H's WWE, that would have been a hint for something greater followed by QR yeah. codes and uncle howdy. Yeah. Do you you're think not that gonna you... wait, you're not going to waste his date, his return to the company by accident at a backstage skit. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Do you think, do you think John Morrison's coming or uh, Johnny Impact's coming back? John Hennigan? Well, you know, guess who just passed Johnny Impact on the all time uh, Impact title reign list? Ooh. Alexander just passed him. So he has, I think, the third, second or third longest title reign in Impact history. I would, um, watch. He, I would watch that he just, match. He just passed Johnny Impact. Ty of Valkyrie happens to be in the promotion. He was just there. In my opinion, it's like, hey, if you got the guy there in the building, why not book him? But uh, he was just there. He's not signed anywhere. He's doing AAA at this point. I think that I think AEW had some interest in him, but they just kept jobbing him out. So I don't think there's any real interest there. And I honestly, AEW needs to be a little bit tapped out on some of these former WWE guys for a while because now you're starting to get lower and lower on the list here. And I I don't think that um, I don't think that John Morrison, Johnny Elite, Johnny Impact, whatever you want to call him, is going to add anything to that promotion. Um, yeah. I could see him making a big difference here, and he was a good world champion for this company. He is. And again, I think that uh, I'm not a big fan of everyone bringing in these WWE guys. I think that uh, I, I had a Twitter thing today saying that I think these WWE people need to realize that the sun does not set, in fact, in Stanford, Connecticut. Yeah. Uh, re re not related to this. I think that I don't know what you do with Impact. Like, do you want to come in and put him into a top spot? Because we've been there with him before. I. I almost wonder if he's reached the phase of his career where, because like with Tony Khan was doing, using him as like a gatekeeper, wanted to do with him yeah. apparently, is that might be a better role for him. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, well, I think I think you do the, uh, you know, you got Josh Alexander just passed him on the title reign list. Have him, Josh. You, have you, him put you, Josh you over. Yeah. You you immediately do that, and then you just move him down the card a little bit, and then you keep him in the upper upper mid level. If he and he can do babyface or heel, either one. Mm -hmm. Um. And he's and he's uh, the guy. Look, he's a good wrestler. He looks great. Promos aren't the greatest, but he uh, makes up for it in a lot of other areas. So uh, cool. I think he'd be a great guy to have here. And as you were saying, Impact needs main eventers, and he mm -hmm. was a longtime main eventer in this promotion. Yeah, yeah, could be like I said, could be a, a good gatekeeper main eventer guy. A lot of yeah. guys, a uh, lot of options there. Yeah, fan. So, um, so anyway, lost in all that was Macklin wants a world title match and Dreamer told him to be a leader and lead by example and not throw a tantrum. Macklin said Dreamer was just interested in protecting himself and bully Ray. Dreamer said he would talk to Scott DeMore and get Macklin a match against himself. Macklin should burn this company to the ground. Like, <laughs> he's the only person in this company that asks for things. Everyone else yeah. just jumps people and are rewarded. Like, Dreamer... Dreamer always says the dumbest shit on the show, and I'm glad it just continues. Now my DMs are going to be flooded. Um, I don't know why like, you have to. That was stupid. Like this is wrestling. He's like Macklin. I feel like Macklin is a straight man in a comedy routine. He's doing this the way of like asking for a title shot. Everybody else goes goes and jumps somebody. Or in New Japan, guys just walk out and say, "Hey, I want a title mm -hmm. shot." And everyone goes, "Yes, you title shot." Like, well, he's and that's, like and that's, asking. That's it's weird. He's trying to ask Scott Demore what he who he hasn't asked is Josh Alexander. I think I think he would have good luck with Alexander. Well, he's he's, been, like, he's got hey. that military background. He's going to the yeah. he's like asking the superior. He's actually you know what? going to chain of command. I never thought of it that way, and that actually Character. makes total sense. Yeah, Character. yes. Damn it, 
you know what? Points to JD. I'm the military guy. I didn't even fucking catch that. And I you, you know what? It. And I don't think Impact is actually doing it for that Me reason. Either. I, think, <laughs> I think it's sheer incompetence and in storytelling. That's the I reason agree. why they're doing it. I agree with you, <laughs> but it kind of makes sense. I'm trying it's uh, critical interpretation. You find things that aren't really there. <clears throat> 